The alpha halogenation reaction is one where we can place a halogen on the alpha carbon of a ketone. I'm showing this reaction being done with bromine, but it could also be done with chlorine Cl2 or iodine I2. So we could use any one of those three halogens in this reaction. There are two possible products for the alpha halogenation reaction. When you have an asymmetrical ketone, such as this one, you can and you will place the halogen on either one of the alpha carbons. So for this reaction, if we're not thinking about stereochemistry, there are two possible products. The major product is the product that is formed from the halogen being placed on the alpha carbon that is the most substituted. So in this case, the first product I drew is going to be the minor product, and the second one will be the major product. Let's look at the mechanism for this reaction. It's an acid catalyzed mechanism, so it's a pretty tedious mechanism. Uh, we want to start, like usual, whenever we have an acid in the presence of some sort of oxygen, the first step is protonation of the oxygen with the acid. So this is going to put a hydrogen on our oxygen and a positive formal charge on the oxygen as well. And then I'm going to, for the next step, I'm going to draw the alpha hydrogen onto this carbon right here. We are going to use the water molecule, the water molecule that was formed when the oxygen was protonated. And that water molecule is going to grab one of these alpha hydrogen. The carbon hydrogen electrons are going to come in to make a carbon carbon double bond and the carbon oxygen double bond will open up. And this is going to give us an alkene, an enol. <laughs> Um, then our halogen will come into the reaction. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use Br2 for this. Uh, and the double bond, the carbon-carbon double bond is going to reach out and grab one of the two halogens from the Br2 molecule. Also at the same time, lone pair of electrons on the oxygen will come down and that's going to recreate uh, the carbon-oxygen double bond. This is also going to result in a positive formal charge on that oxygen. And now we have placed the bromine on the alpha hydrogen. All that needs to be done is just deprotonating that oxygen. So we'll use another water molecule for that step. Grab that last hydrogen. And this is, the again, just the major product. And if we wanted to draw the mechanism for the minor product, we'd do pretty much the same thing. But in this step right here, we'd be grabbing one of the hydrogens from the other alpha carbon. One of the cool things about this reaction is that we can do a second step in this reaction if we want. Um, so if we use a base, um, and we've got a few different options for what kind of base we could use. So I'm just, for starters, I'm just gonna write base here. Um, we can do an elimination reaction to convert this into an alkene. And this is actually a really favorable reaction, this second step. So the bases that we can use for this would be our bulky base that we're used to using, terbutoxide, OC, CH3, 3. But you could also see this done with lithium carbonate, Li2CO3. And you could also see it done with pyridine, which we've used before as a solvent. Let's squeeze that in there. But this um, pyridine also works for the the base for this second step of the reaction alpha halogenation can also take place under basic conditions so we're going to take a look at that mechanism next um, just like with the alpha halogenation reaction we can use the chlorine or iodine halogens in place of the bromine and for this reaction we are notice first of all that i'm showing this with uh, this is, happens to be symmetrical, and I'm showing this with um, alkyl groups that are not methyls, and that's one of the key parts of this reaction. So no methyl groups allowed on either end, either side of the, of the um, ketone. In this reaction, we are, again, going to just be placing a bromine on an alpha or a chlorine or an iodine on one of the alpha carbons. Um, and let's, let's draw the mechanism for this one because it's a base catalyzed mechanism. mechanism it's a lot easier to draw. We're going to start with the alpha hydrogen hydroxide base is going to come in and grab one of those alpha hydrogen and move the carbon hydrogen electrons on to the alpha carbon as a lone pair. So we'll have 
still one of the hydrogens on there. We'll have a lone pair of electrons and a formal negative charge on that carbon. And that is going to attack the halogen Br2 or Cl2 or I2 and break the halogen bond. And this is all for this mechanism. So it's very straightforward, just like that. Now, if you do have a methyl group on your ketone and you use these reagents, the reaction that takes place we call the halo form reaction. The halo form reaction is again with a methyl ketone, an alpha halogenation with a, a methyl ketone under basic conditions. This is gonna be a two-step process. The first step is the base catalyzed alpha halogenation. And then the second step of this reaction is some acid H3O+. This, again, this requires a methyl group. And this converts our methyl group to a carboxylic acid. Does not do anything to the larger alkyl group. 